This program is rated PG. It contains themes and scenes which may not be suitable for very young audiences. Parental guidance is advised. Be advised that the views and opinions of the hosts and guests do not reflect those of the station. We're now on our uh, first week of April, a quarter of the year has passed. What are the issues that remain to be the most important? I believe the uh, power issue, the electricity, yung ating kuryente na sobrang overpriced pa, is still uh, regularly and often, uh, not always, but often uh, the highest power cost in Asia. Kung ganyang kamahal ang ating kuryente, papano ang kaunlaran ng bayan sa industriya, uh, manufacturing and so on, and paano ang trabaho sa Mindanao. Uh, na ngayon, eh, uh, doon nagdagdag ng mga 30-40% ang kuryente sa Mindanao. No? We have, of course, uh, first of all, our long-lost friend who's back with us uh, dito sa mga diskusyon, si Ginoong Jojo Borja. Uh, Jojo, uh, say hello to our uh, 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 Good day. Uh, I am uh, Oriel Jojo Garcia Borja. I am an advocate for uh, affordable and reasonable prices of electricity. And, uh, okay, yung po si Ginoong Jojo Bora, and of course very often si Ginoong Jun Simon, former mayor of Quezon City. Say hello to our audience. Magandang araw sa iyo, Mentong, at sa lahat ng mga nanonood sa ating istasyon, isang magandang araw din po sa inyo lahat. Okay, uh, we uh, are advocates for uh, fair, just uh, Electricity prices, competitive electricity prices, competitive with the other countries in ASEAN and in the world, which we do not have today. And our first topic will be the uh, uh, power sales agreement that uh, the ERC uh, that was uh, fired and then restored to their position, uh, the uh, PSA, Power Sales Agreement of uh, Meralco with its own seven sister companies, uh, which is overpriced. Now let's begin a review. The ERC uh, commissioners were suspended for a year uh, in 2017, is that correct? Uh, no? But uh, what is the reason? If you read those uh, lines there, the Ombudsman said that as a result of a deferment of the CSP, what is CSP? Competitive Selection, selection Process. process. Mm -hmm. Sinuspendi ng ERC, walang competition, walang bidding. Mm -hmm. ano? What kind of anomaly is that? Hindi bale kung it's a small uh, contract. Ano? Mm -hmm. This is two trillion, two and a half trillion contract. Ang lakas talaga ng Meralco. Napakawalang iya talaga ng Meralco na ikorap itong mga ito. Whether by force of uh, threats or, or, or promises, we don't know. But they were uh, really uh, uh, corrupted, and the courts uh, really showed that. You know? so, uh, they can of course charge me with libel, as we are always uh, warned. You know? But uh, we will see if they charge us, then we will expose more. And uh, maraming nagprotesta. Kasama po natin si uh, R.J. Haveliana. Let's uh, flash the next image. You know? R.J. Haveliana, who protested you know, this uh, seven uh, multi-million uh, power supply agreements, PSA, remember po, you know? uh, uh, despite the onerous terms. You know? And uh, then, uh, of course, the Freedom from Debt Coalition, which is also an advocate for uh, fair and just uh, power prices, uh, the next image, you know, Meralco, I will read this in detail, Meralco's contracts must be tested against this lower posted price in a CSP, yung competitive uh, selection. selection process, to determine the least cost, uh, which did not go through the CSP, uh, kaya uh, na-fire out yung, ano, yung ERC commissioner, pero binalik naman, ano? at full capacity of 3.5551 megawatts or 3,000 551 megawatts or 31 BK watts at what's B? Yeah. No, anyway, uh, the cost to us per year at delivered rate is 120 billion pesos. Lower the uh, CSP uh, mm -hmm. 
Um, compared to its rival, the supplier, the uh, SMC rate, San Miguel Corporation, San Miguel. Uh, is 93 billion. The difference is 27 billion pesos between uh, the that of Meralco and San Miguel. You know? And uh, over the 20-year contract, the total cost of delivered rate is 2.417 trillion pesos uh, from the seven power suppliers owned also partially by Meralco. You know? That is based on the price of coal in 2014. Okay. But it is much bigger now because the price of coal mm. is Gone higher. Up. So okay. they are applying for a lower rate, but actually it's already uh, a lot more. Okay. And uh, while the 1.8 uh, peso trillion uh, of the SMC rate, you know, or a cost difference of 557 billion pesos, uh, least cost, therefore, is a function of numbers and rates, not uh, of declaration of, or intentions. Mm -hmm. And then, so, the House has uh, asked the ERC, which our next uh, image shows, <coughs> Meralco to explain the power supply deals. No? Uh, House asked ERC, Meralco to explain power deals. Unfortunately, the House will grandstand, but we yes. never see any result yes, to sir. stop this uh, price gouging of Meralco. Okay, in fact, I was a resource person in yes. all those uh, hearings in, the, in Congress, mm. several mm. hearings. We gave them everything. We gave them all the documents. We gave them all the calculations. All the congressmen were listening. There were heated arguments, but in the end, nothing happened. Okay. So that's the irony uh, of it. John Simon. Okay. So right, right now, you even have uh, some congressmen fighting for the passage of the Paracel Agreement. Mm. And so. one of them is Danny Suarez, I understand. Okay. Who so else? Marami you remember, si tandaan po ninyong pangalan ni Danny Suarez, no? Ayan na maraming sinasabing magaganda, opposition daw siya, ano, pero mm. sigurado, ano, may usapan niya ng Meralco. Uh, because mm. uh, this is simply uh, irrational to support. Yeah. Okay, Kajun. Well, uh, ito kasi suspendido na apat na commissioners. Mm. Sumulat itong bagong chairman, si Chairman Agnes de Benedera, mm. na sinabi niya na it, will, it is going to cause irreparable damage, ano? Mm. Marami siya sinabing dahilan. Ang unang dahilan ay yung daw ang tinatawag siya system slow si Baba mm. Banila. No? Mm. Kaya lang obviously hindi yun ang talagang naging dahilan. Mm. Ang naging dahilan ay yung nasuspendido na power sales agreements ay ngayon tinutulak nilang pilit na pumaseto. No? Mm. And this is a contract that will bind us for the next 20 to 25 years. And cause us at least 557 billion additional cost na may bid, nag-bid na lower than, yeah. than the uh, Meralco yeah. price. Why, why, why yeah. is it lower? Why is it lower? Because uh, San Miguel and uh, Aboitis mm. built these uh, coal fire plants mm. much earlier. Oh, okay. So, they already recovered part of their capital. Yeah, yeah. Meralco wants to put up seven new. Okay. Wants to put up. Wants pa. Wala pa. Ah, wala pa. Wants, pa. Wala pa. wants oh. to put up. Okay. Now, uh, that's a difference in the capital recovery cost. But what they do not say also, it's not only the difference of 50 centavos per kilowatt hour because of the capital recovery cost. Mm. The cost of coal has gone up. Mm -hmm. That is based on 2014. Okay. So, John, so right, right now, uh, we have solar bidding also at 3 pesos. Mm. But as you see, uh, there are already solar plants that are saying that they can produce power at 1 peso per kilowatt hour. Mm. Ang ibig sabihin lang nito ay, in the next 20 to 25 years, pag nagkaroon na ng advances in technology, hindi na rin natin magagamit yan sapagkat nakataya up na ang Meralco with these power sales agreements. Kaya kahit na meron na maimbento mas well, mura at nakakaimbento mas mura. That's what Meralco and Manny Pangilinan and Salim thinks. They can get away with it for 20 years. But and one with, with the work of Jojo, uh, Jun Simon, RJ, and the <laughs> other groups, uh, they will pay for it. Mani Pangilinan will pay for this big... Yes. Uh, Isa pa sila sabi natin, eh, the franchise of Meralco is only up to 2028. How can they come up with a contract all the way to 2042? Yes. Okay, good. Is that what that you were going to say? Oh, okay. They are uh, tying us with a contract where the franchise of Meralco is going mm. to end uh, soon. So, itong test namin, eh, kung tayo ay nakakapag-communicate ng message natin, mm. yung mm. staff natin dito kung naintindihan. Mm. Uulitin ko, in summary, in three uh, important terms. No? Meralco... Umiwas sila sa kanilang uh, arrangement sa ERC doon sa competitive selection process. Yes. In other words, tinanggal nila ang bidding <coughs> ano? para ma-pirmahan, ma-aprobahan yung PSA. PSA, remember, 
power sales agreement na itatali tayong mga consumer through our contracts uh, with, uh, kasi may yes. contract tayo with Meralco, uh -huh. Meralco may contract sa sariling mga kompanya. And this is overpriced even today by 557 billion, billion na tataas pa kasi tataas hindi pa, pa lumalabas. Hindi pa pala natatayo yung seven yeah, plans. Yan ang sinabi namin eh. Oh. Our application is deceiving. They are applying difference of 350 and 3 pesos. But actually, it's already 550. Hmm. So, yung sinasabi nilang ilang trillion, hmm. eh, times two pa yun. Uh, tandaan po ninyo ang uh, four ERC commissioners na uh, winalanghiya tayo dito, pero binalik naman sila ng Court of Appeals ba? Ng Court of Appeals. Uh, no? Yeah, yung, oh. yung isang uh, sa West End, that's another oh. Uh, oh. faction where oh. natatalo naman tayo ng 20 billion. Okay. May utang we, tayo ngayon at 20 billion, dagdag pa sa mga lang, We will have another show for yan. that. Ano? Okay. Okay. And so, tandaan po ninyo, Meralco, uh, CSP, and then PSA, and 558 billion na baka 2, uh, baka 2 trillion over the years yes. ang logi natin dito sa mga Lopez, uh, Lopez, Pangilinan, hindi na pala Lopez, no? Uh -huh. And, and company and ERC. other stockholders of Meralco. Ano? The na, congressman uh, were actually screaming at the Meralco and the ERC. Mm -hmm. That's why I want uh -huh. that captured. I, I want the TSN, the mm -hmm. transcript of historiographic uh, notes. Okay. Everything is said there. So who's screaming? The con some congressmen? The congressmen were scolding them like anything. Oh, let's see if uh, something minumura. will happen. Practically, uh, minumura sila. Pero uh, after that, what well, happened? That's why. Okay, I have been asking Jojo. Congress uh, to give me a copy uh, of that. Uh, it's a graphic notes. Okay. Okay. May nangyari daw. May nangyari. May nangyari. Oh, may press release to mga congressmen ito na pinipilit na yung ERC na aprobahan na yung PSA. Uh -huh. ah. So, iba yung nag-screaming in the halls of Congress. Yun iba ang ngayon. grandstanding. Ngayon, iba talaga yung grandstanding. Ano? So, you can see the... Eh, ako, politiko ako. You can see the lobby money. No? So, Remember, everything stems from the EPIRA law. Okay. This was the law that was passed in 2001. Okay. The Energy Privatization mm -hmm. Investment Reform Act na kung saan si Congressman Magtubo, isang party list congressman, ipinakita niya na binabayaran siya ng 500,000 pesos. May envelope siya, dala-dala, na mabuti naman honest siya, no? and he was asked. Ano? Para pirmahan lang. Ano? Oh. Ito kayo, tanong natin kina Congressman Danny Suarez, magkakano kaya mga envelope nito? Kung may pumat dumarating, ano? kung aaminin nila, hindi ko alam. Ano? Eh, Siyempre, hindi aaminin yun. Magka-grandstand na naman sila, na, ay, kung ano-anong dahilan. Because uh, kung kontrata is 2 trillion 400 billion pesos, hmm. magkakano po kaya yung envelope? That's why our second part, uh, we will also explain na uh, in Mindanao, uh, the uh, Mindanaoans and our entire nation is being gypped, ano, niloloko tayo, doon sa coal-fired uh, at mm. uh, pilit na yung hydropower natin sa Mindanao mm. eh, hindi matingnan ng taong bayan. Yeah. Uh, we will, that's our second part, no, the Mindanao hyd uh, hydro heist, heist meaning pagnanakaw. And our part three, Garapal, the Salim MVP monster. Ito ang nasa likod nitong lahat na ito ngayon. Dati Lopez. Uh, pero mang utak ang Lopez, mas malakas itong uh, Salim Group, ano, internationally, binenta doon. Ay, ay nagwawalang hiya pa rin ng mga Lopez through the uh, other contracts they have. We'll take this break, so wait for our discussion on Mindanao the, uh, Hydro Heist.